guys, welcome back. Sam Terrell here, the Northwest Aeronaut, and uh, it's a beautiful Friday. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about landings, or as I call them, Earth Connections. Earth Connections. That's right, we don't land. And the reason why I don't like the term landings is people always put landings on a pedestal, and they become this, this thing that's almost unachievable for student pilots and this thing that has to be just drilled over and over and over again and this thing that is just different from everything else we do in aviation and, and something to be sought after. And while, of course, every pilot likes to have great landings, uh, including myself, it's the approach that I think messes people up. So the reason why I call them Earth Connections is because it shouldn't be approached any differently than any other type of flight. We are still flying the airplane. We're just flying it so close to the Earth that we connect with the Earth. So that's how I always encourage my students to approach it. We are just getting into slow flight. We are flying level over the runway, controlling the airplane the same way we would at any other altitude. Now, yes, there are certain things to contend with, like ground effect and uh, weather, a wind from the terrain, which can get a little bit gusty, uh, depending on where you're at. But ultimately, you're going to make the airplane do what you want it to do. You're gonna make it point down the runway uh, in the direction of travel. Sometimes that takes a little bit of aileron with a little bit of rudder correction if you are in a crosswind situation. And uh, sometimes it requires a little extra power. But ultimately, it's the same thing that you would do if you were at altitude, like we are now at 3,500 feet, trying to do the same thing, all right? So we are going to just fly, and I've got traffic coming up here off our nose, just gonna make sure I avoid them. We're gonna make sure that we are flying this airplane all the way to the ground, not trying to land. As a matter of fact, every single approach we make, our default setting is to go around. People always seem to look at go-arounds as a failure, a failure of a landing, when in fact, it's quite the opposite. Every single approach you make, the default setting should be go-around. You should be ready to go around, and all we're doing is flying that plane as low to the ground as we possibly can until we do go around. Or, if our wheels happen to touch before we go around, then we've made our Earth connection. But. Our intent is just to fly it as close to the ground as possible until we go around. And that needs to be the mindset that we have. So that's what we're going to do here at McMinnville. I'm going to make some calls and get ready to enter the traffic pattern, and I'll see you in just a minute. All right, guys, so we're getting ready to enter the pattern here at McMinnville. If there's one thing that's going to make for a successful Earth connection, it is airspeed control. That's all it comes down to. Airspeed is life. You've heard the term airspeed is life. Airspeed is king. Airspeed is everything when it comes to making a successful Earth connection and not floating halfway down the runway before you either go around or or end up making that Earth connection. So we are going to be looking for some very specific airspeeds on every leg of our pattern. On downwind, we're going to be looking for 85 knots. On base, we're going to be pitching for 75 knots. Of course, we're controlling our airspeed with our pitch and we're controlling our rate of descent with our power. And then finally, on final, we are going to be pitching for 65 knots. The other key thing that we are going to be doing is not just pitching for these airspeeds, we are going to be trimming for these. We want to fly as hands-off as possible when we are in high workload situations. And there are a few situations that get more high workload than takeoffs and landings. So the more we can let the airplane fly for us, the better off we're going to be. All right, pre-landing checklist. Gas is on both. Undercarriage is fixed. Mixture is rich. Props and pumps we don't have. Switches are on. Seat belts are on and tight. Speed brakes we don't have. Cow flaps we don't have. Carb heat will come on during the descent. And flaps will be as required. All right, and then as soon as we level off is when we're going to be looking for our airspeed of 85. And we can even start kind of slowing down to that now. All right, there's our traffic pattern altitude. We're pitching for our 85 and trimming for it. We want this airplane to fly itself. There's 85, there's 1200, and as you can see, 
We are hands off, boys and girls. That's how we want to do it, right here. And when we get there, Bravo on a downwind. A beam our point, we're gonna start our descent here. So there we are, beam it, car beats out, power's coming back. Still pitching for 85, now I want you to see this. I'm pulling the power back, and I'm letting the nose come down, I'm putting in 10 degrees of flaps. And those flaps, with one full turn of trim forward, are going to, is going to hold our airspeed at 85, hands off, while we maintain this descent. 85, 82 right now. Hands off as we turn, turn base, we're gonna be pitching 75. Here we go. McMinnville traffic, system 65813, left base, 2-2 two, 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 McMinnville. All right, now we're pitching 75. Again, we're just trimming for that. Half turn and trim, nose up. Bingley B-72, system off. City, shadow, eight. As we level our wings, we're gonna bring those flaps down to 20. City, my, south of Filter. We'll and keep that nose down for 75. 45 and All right, final's down. clear. Right. We're turning final here. All right, we're pitching for 65 and we're trimming for 65. We're gonna go full flaps. And I want you guys to see this, hands off. It's flying itself at 64 here, 65, as we come down. That is so key, everybody. We gotta fly. Now we're just getting down to the runway. As soon as we get over the numbers, we're gonna pull the power and we're gonna just fly it. We're gonna fly it until until we go around or until we touch, make our earth connection. Here we go, coming in, coming over the numbers, holding that airspeed all the way down. And we're gonna be taking a breath in with our eyes, taking a breath in with our eyes so we can judge how high we are off the ground Little bit of right rudder, little bit of aileron. Don't want to float, just want to set it down nice and easy there. Is turning final for runway 22. And we didn't get to go around before we made our earth connection and that works out just fine, everybody. So we'll get off here at Alpha 2. We'll do a full stop taxi back. And we'll clean up our airplane here as we get off past the whole shore. So I hope the takeaways you took away there or number one, have defined airspeeds for every leg of the traffic pattern. Also have a defined aiming point, a defined touchdown point. Mine is the second stripe after the numbers. If you go a little bit beyond that, it's not the end of the world uh, for a standard landing, but we want to always have a point that we are aiming for. You don't want to just arbitrarily come in for your landings and let it touch down wherever it feels like it, okay? Um, it's all about consistency. So, pick that touchdown point. Have those airspeeds locked in at every leg of that traffic pattern. And then, don't just pitch for that airspeed, trim for it. Make the airplane do the work for you. Especially with bigger airplanes with bigger engines, and the 172 isn't really that big, but if you come from like a 150 to a 172, uh, you will feel more weight in that yoke. Um, but especially 182s, things like that, you really have to use trim. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to have the strength to pull back um, in that transition uh, for that round out. So, guys, I want to thank you for spending this time with me today. I hope you found that helpful. Please leave your comments and questions in the comment section. And uh, until next time, resume your own navigation.